In this tip, I'm going to show you how to calculate a z-score in Tableau. A z-score is a numerical measurement that describes a value's relationship to the mean of a group of values. The z-score is measured in terms of the number of standard deviations from the mean. If a z-score is zero, that indicates that the data point's score is identical to the mean. A z-score of one would indicate a value is one standard deviation from the mean, and so on. Z-scores can have either positive or negative values. A positive value indicates the score is above the mean, and a negative score indicates that it is below the mean. In this example, I'm going to use a sample car sales database. There's a link to this data source in the description for this video. To calculate the z-score, I'm going to create a new calculated field. And the calculation is actually quite simple. We're going to look at the average discount. Actually, let's look at the average uh, sale price minus the window average of the average sale price. Wrap that whole thing in brackets. And then I'm going to divide that by the window standard deviation of the average sale price. Hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and set the default number format for that to one decimal place. I'm going to drag z-score to the columns. And let's say I want to determine what the, what the spread is of the sale price, the average sale price, for different car colors. So let's drag color to the rows. And we're going to put maybe the car make on detail. From here, I'm going to tell my z-score to compute using the make. And you'll see we get the beginning of our chart. I'm going to change the mark type to a circle. And I'm going to format my view so that my zero line is more pronounced. Oh, that's the wrong field. I'm going to set my zero line to be thicker and maybe a bit darker so that we know where the mean is. So now when you hover over mark, you can see the z-score compared to all other makes within that color. To help this make more sense, I'm going to drag the sale price to the detail shelf and choose the average sale price. So now when I hover over mark, I can see the make, the color, the average sale price, and its z-score, which again is the number of standard deviations this particular make and color is from the mean. Another thing you might do is you might want to go ahead and use a highlighter. So there's two ways you can use a highlighter. I could show the highlighter for the make, and now I can see where that particular make ranks amongst all the others. Or you can, use, you can do a highlighter with a parameter. To do that, I'm going to create a parameter based on my make field. Hit OK. I'm going to show that parameter. And now I want to create a highlighter. So I'm going to call this highlight make. And all I'm going to say here is the make is equal to the make parameter. Move that field to color. And now I need to update my table calculation to also include the highlight make. And we can see we have some that are orange and some that are blue. So I'm going to go ahead and if it's not already showing, you want to go up to Format and, oh, sorry, wrong place, Analysis, Legends, and show the color legend. I'm going to make the true above the false so that it's in front. I'm going to set the, the trues to be maybe a red, and maybe the blues or the false to be a light blue, something like that. And I'm also going to put the highlight on the size shelf. And I'm going to reverse the size on those so that my true is bigger than the false. And then you just kind of play around with the sizes until you get something you like. Now, one other thing that I've seen people do is also to jitter these dots that are in here. So I'm just going to duplicate this sheet so we don't mess it up. 
then I'm going to just put in the rows the index function. Or actually, I'll do even better than that. I'll do the average of the random function. You'll see that that jitters all of the circles. I'm going to set my range to go from, I don't want the, the uh, individual colors, to the circles, to be too close to each other. So I'm going to set the start to go from uh, minus 1 to 2, because the average of random goes from 0 to 1. Or I could even do it from minus 2 to 3. From here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the random from my tooltip, uncheck the header, format the view to get rid of the grid lines for my rows. I'm going to go ahead and remove my row dividers and remove my column dividers. And now I have a nice cleaned up view. I'm going to again adjust the sizes. It looks like they got a bit blurry on me here. So now when I pick a different make, I can see that make across all of the different charts. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's how you make a Z-score in Tableau. Have a good day.